Hello everyone, I am Jalil Ahmed and welcome to the post presentation CVPD classification in CT images using 3D convolutional neural networks. CVPD is a lung disease characterized by irreversible damage to the lung airflow. The primary causes include smoking and air pollution. CVPD is classified into emphysema and small airways disease. Emphysema is further subclassified into panlobular, centilobular, and paraseptal emphysema. During this study, we aimed to develop a 3D CNN-based classification system for COPD and emphysema using volume-wise annotations and observe the impact of transfer learning across different datasets, one for COPD, another for emphysema, and different tasks, that is, COPD classification and emphysema classification. For the COPD classification, we used the dataset SI1. SI1 was annotated using the gold stage system for COPD classification. We divided the SI1 into two classes, gold stage 0 as class healthy and gold stages 1 to 4 as COPD. For emphysema classification, we used the dataset SI2. SI2 was annotated for emphysema and its potential subtypes. We utilized a Vox ResNet, which is a 3D implementation of ResNet and initially developed for segmentation task. We modified the network by adding a fully connected layer and training it using cross entropy loss. For COPD classification, we used 6000 samples for training and 300 samples for testing. Our data was volume wise annotated and we did not use any data augmentation. As 2D CNNs intrinsically lose the 3D context, we aimed to overcome this limitation in learning discriminative features in all three dimensions by utilizing 3D CNNs and achieved comparable results. We achieved 74.3% accuracy and 0 0.820 AUC. In the next step, we trained for emphysema versus non-emphysema classification. The non-emphysema class comprised of all the healthy samples and any other patient with lung disease other than emphysema. We compared the performance by training the network first with randomly initialized weights and secondly with the pre-trained weights of COPD classification. We observed a significant increase in the performance when we used transfer learning. This indicates that the feature learned for COPD classification are also effective in emphysema classification. In conclusion, we were able to propose a 3D CNN for COPD classification and observe the effects of transfer learning using fine-tuned weights of the COPD classification for emphysema classification. Moreover, we also observed that the feature learned for COPD classification are not only effective across different tasks, that is emphysema classification, but also across different datasets.